Hey guys, happy, happy Wednesday from Vegas. This is my Starbucks, I cannot even lie to you. And I'm talking quiet because it is, um, it's 8.24 in the morning here. So although I'm in a hotel, I'm in what used to be the um, Las Vegas Hilton, which is now LVH, whatever that means. I think they're just calling it Las Vegas Hotel now, which is a little bit bizarre. Um, anyway, um, since it's a little bit in the, in the morning, it does seem like this is a quieter, is that even a word? More quiet hotel um, off the strip, which I'm going to show you guys a little peek. This is really cool. Um, here's my view out my window, which I love so much nicer than being on the cheesy strip. So can you see mountains and then over here it's just a great view like once I got up and I put my um, um, curtains open I was like oh I want to go for a walk out here and look at those beautiful mountains anyway um, let me turn this back around I'm here sorry um, show you a little bit of what's going on back there in a second. As you can see, <laughs> I have plenty of room in my hotel room this time. Um, I I was a little, uh, let me see, hold on, I might have to call this lady. Um, hold on. Sorry, there's somebody I have to talk to right away and she just wrote me back and I didn't know what she was saying. Um, anyway, so here's the deal. I'm going to show you what's going on back here. I was a little worried to stay in this hotel because I looked it up on Yelp. I've never stayed at this hotel. I've stayed at almost every hotel in Vegas because if you're in business and you go to any kind of conference or convention, you're going to be in Vegas a lot. It doesn't rock my world, people. I am not into shows. I am not into seeing like Barry Manilow or Holly Madison or Celine Dion or any kind of magic show or comedy show or dancing show. It's just not my style. I'm not making fun of anybody that likes that, but it is funny. <laughs> Every time I come to Vegas, people go, oh, let's see a show. <laughs> I'd rather sit in my hotel room and watch CSI because I'm a nerd like that. Anyway, back to this. This is my coffee that I got last evening. Last. I clearly need some more caffeine right now. Does that even make sense to say last evening, yesterday evening, whatever? Ooh, and I'm going to tell you about that. Um, so anyway, um, I was a little worried about staying at this hotel because I looked up the reviews on Yelp and they were horrible. They were like, this hotel is awful, it's dirty, it hasn't been renovated, blah, blah, blah. And I will say one thing. When I first walked in downstairs to check in yesterday, they don't really have a very good system for um, uh, circulating or ventilating the smoke. When you're in Vegas, everybody smokes. It's really disturbing, actually. Um, it's casinos, um, for those of you that have never been here, which I'm realizing a lot of you have not been here. Um, so when you go into hotels, it's surprising because most of them have very, I'm sure, expensive ventilation systems, and you, you don't walk in and smell smoke. This hotel, you walk in and you smell the smoke, which I was a little disturbed. But I have to tell you, um, I really like my room. I mean. It's a very, as you can see, I'm gonna give you guys my little tour right now because I'm gonna show you about what I've packed. Sorry, and what I'm doing. But this is my, like it's in very, and you guys know I'm very, see look at all this extra room. <laughs> I, I don't think that's normal. And this is the bonus for my workout, which we're gonna go into that in a second. I have some little tr travel tips for you. Um, but as you can see, this is my room. There's plenty. Look at all that space there. There's my iPad <laughs> charging. Do you see how obsessed I am with charging my gadgets? Charge, charge. Everything is about charging. Don't judge me. Um, here is where I've got my, all my workout clothes are in here in my nice Reebok bag, which was very cool. So I keep all of my clothes in there. Of course I have my iPod and I gotta tell you guys this is not even a soft pimp this is a hard bold pimp these are earbuds for your ears 
the only brand that fits in my ear and stays in my ear. They are a beautiful thing. Honestly, everybody that buys them says the same thing. Yes, they are a client of Fitfluential, but I'm going to tell you, I have never been able to keep anything in my ears. If you've been reading my blog and watching my videos for a while, you know that that's true. These things are freaking amazing. Just saying. So, as you can tell, this is not your typical hotel. I have plenty of room, which is a beautiful thing because I can do my, can you see all the space I have? Walking lunches, you name it. And then I still have all this space over here. And then, um, here's my plethora of, I've got my ProSculpt. I've got, that's my chocolate egg protein powder, which I can just mix with water. Um, these are all of my um, vitamins, probiotics. As you can see in here, my Purcell. I've got my fish oil. So taking these, this is the um, Physio Burn. Taking this twice a day, and then I've got my Vita packs, which still make me gag every time I'm taking them, but I do it because it's the right thing to do. There we go. Um, my Grisel is going to make fun of me, but right now, this is what I do for sleep. Okay, great. So, that's that. But anyway, here's the, um, as you can see, plenty of space. That bed was very comfortable for sleeping, which we know how important sleep is. But here's what I bring every time I travel, people. I've got my, of course, pink valve slides which are amazing, not only for women, but men. This, the exercises that some of the guys have come up with on this, check out Ben Bruno, amazing. I've got my TRX, I've got my valve bands. Oh, I think someone's just getting in out there. And then I've got one resistance band because you'd be, be amazed at how many different moves you can do with one resistance band. Here's my little travel fit tips. Do you see what this is? I don't know if you can really tell. These are a bunch of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dryer sheets. You stuff these in your sweaty shoes and it makes them not smell up your suitcase. I cannot tell you how much you wanna save your dryer sheets when they're done. And then this is just the, the, the dry cleaning bag that comes from the hotel, right? But what I do is whenever I check in, I take out the bags, the plastic bags, and that's what I put my dirty, sweaty clothes in so that, again, they don't smell up your suitcase. The other little tip I would give you, and I'm going to come over by my window, is I'm here with um, sweaty clothes and working out. Um, you want to... Um, like, like after this, so I've got, my, I've got my top on, I've got my pants, whatever. Whatever is really sweaty and, and excessively covered in sweat, wet, it's, it's, trust me, when you travel a lot, yes, it's great to be able to put it in a plastic bag so that it's not gonna seep sweat all over and it won't stink, but it's even better if you take your sweaty clothes off when you go in to take your shower and hang up your sweaty clothes. Just let them dry. If you're not gonna wash them when you're on your trip, just let them dry. So at least they're dry. Then you put them in the plastic bag, throw in a, um, uh, a dryer sheet. That's gonna keep the, the moisture out, the smell out, Trust me, it'll make you a lot more happier when you travel. So, um, she has not written me back yet. Let me just make sure. Um, okay. Business never sleeps. That was so cheesy what I just said, but pretty much everything I say is cheesy. Um, so, the other thing is, so not only do I pack um, all of that stuff, I've always packed that stuff, you guys. And here's the problem that I told you I am working on um, doing, uh, attacking and doing differently going forward is I've always brought all that stuff. Thing is, if you don't have a plan for what you're doing each day of the week, then all that stuff can sit there and as much as I'm surrounded by great videos, great people with, with ideas for TRX, for resistance bands, for valve bands, whatever, if I don't have a plan, I can look at all that stuff and I can get something done. I still won't get enough done unless I plan out and say, okay, today is my circuit day, this is what I have to get done, and this is my, you know, this is my plan today, tomorrow I'm gonna do this, the next day I'm gonna do this, and then you look over the whole week and it fits in with your plan. You've got to have a plan if you, especially if you're someone like me, that gets easily distracted. 
Um, I also made sure that I brought not only for this week, because I won't be working with my trainer in the gym, um, I brought Valerie's Action Hero Babe Circuits, which um, I've done her other circuits. I did Bikini Body Express in the past, which was what I would call very simply more um, really high intensity circuits, but um, I'd say overall lighter weights, but still, as you guys know, if you looked at my reviews, it was still burning and I was still getting really good um, conditioning going on. This tends to be heavier on the weights. Now, I will tell you, some of these circuits are very specific as far as things that I wouldn't necessarily do with resistance bands. I'm a firm believer you can do everything with resistance bands that you can do with weights. Some of them, I, not so much. I don't tend to be as creative. Like, there's one move in here that's required for the circuit that is, uh, like, bicep curls, I'm all over that. Um, I don't have the medicine ball, so I won't be able to do chest press on a medicine ball. I think chest is, like, the one thing that I don't do as much with resistance bands. Um, oh, you know what I can, yes I can. I know what I can do with resistance bands for chest. So you just, if, you, if you've got a circuit like this, plan it out in advance. Don't get into the middle of your circuit when a chest press comes and you're like, oh, what am I going to do instead? Because then what's going to happen is you're going to stop and go, hmm, what should I do? And then you've waited for five minutes and then you've blown the whole concept of the circuit. The whole concept of the circuit is that you never stop. The other thing I did is I made sure I brought four different DVDs. And I try to bring a selection. I've got this so I can do some yoga at night, get my Zen on. I brought my two new Madonna Addicted to Sweat. Both of these require no equipment. One is with a chair only, one is with a towel only, and I'm looking forward to trying that out. Both of these are going to be, even though they say, you know, muscle toning, whatever, they're more of a cardio thing. Um, I brought Kathy's HIT workout, so most of the stuff that I brought obviously is going to be more for the sweat, the cardio, and then um, I will be planning out what I do with my TRX, with my resistance bands, so that I'm hitting all the major muscle groups. I might be going with Danielle to her lifetime fitness. So if we do that, then I'll really hit the weights hard. Um, there is a hotel gym here, but I'm going to check it out. From the pictures, I didn't see that it was something I wanted to do. Um, she still hasn't written me back. Okay, so I have a few more seconds. Um, anyway, yesterday was a frustrating day. This is making me remember it, and I'll tell you why. Because sometimes you just have to go, what the hell? I left my house um, yesterday, took all my vitamins, did what I usually do in the morning, headed to the airport, um, had a pretty nice, um, I went to the, um, what's the, uh, God, Wolfgang Puck, Wolfgang Puck, uh, restaurant, and I got a chicken Caesar salad. It was, it was good. It, it didn't really have, you know, I don't think you really feel like the chicken is fresh in the airport. Um, so it was, you know, it was okay. Um, so I had a, a light chicken Caesar salad, and then I got on the plane, four-hour plane ride out here. Plane left at 12.20, so it gets out here at 4.30 Chicago time, which is 2.30 this time, Vegas time. And when I was on the plane, they had snacks you could order. Well, I go to order the trail mix snack that they had, and they're all out. So the only thing that I could order, because I was hungry, is a Cobb chicken sandwich. It was basically a big, huge piece of white bread with um, chicken, egg, tomato, and lettuce on it. So I was a good girl. I bought the sandwich. I just took the chicken strips off. Honestly, I'm guessing it was one ounce of chicken. Seriously. It wasn't even two or three ounces of chicken. Um, anyway, so I, um, I had that by the time I got off the, um, by the time I got off the, the plane, I was really hungry. By the time I get my bags, get a cab, get to the hotel, get checked in, get here, I was really hungry. I was calling Danielle going, I am ready to eat a table. And I didn't want to order room service. I do that all the time. I'm so sick of room service people. You have no idea. When, for those of you that don't travel a lot, you write me and go, that's so cool, you get to travel, you get to do this. Let me tell you, it's not that exciting. Once you've seen one Cobb salad, you've seen them all. Room service, it's all the same thing. At every hotel, it gets really old. Um, so I went downstairs to walk around and see what I could find. And all I wanted, I knew they had a sushi restaurant. So I'm like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have some sashimi, maybe I have a roll, whatever. 
I go to the, su the sushi restaurant. She's like, oh, the sushi restaurant isn't open today. And I said, why is it not open? Oh, there's a private party there. So you're not going to open up the restaurant for the rest of us? I go, if it's open and you have a private party, can I just order some sushi? She's like, nope, you can go to the noodle restaurant. I go, what's the noodle restaurant? So the noodle restaurant is basically Chinese carbs. It's just nothing but noodles. And so I'm like, okay. So then I go and I try to find the steak place. The steak place, this is 4.30 Vegas time by this time. My stomach is growling. I'd already walked by this place, which had coffee, wine, and more carbs than you can imagine. Muffins, cheesecake, rolls. I mean, just like, a, it's like, when you walk into a Starbucks, it's nothing but like sweet treats, right? It's everything that you don't want to be eating if you're trying to stay in shape, watch what you're eating on the road. So I'm like, damn. And so I go to the uh, steak place. It's 4.30. She goes, and of course she called me honey, which is funny. I thought I was the only one that calls strangers honey. She goes, oh, honey, we're not open till 5.30. I'm like, okay, it's 4.30. I'm freaking hungry. I'd like something to eat that is not a big Cinnabon. And she's, so they're not open. The sushi place is not open. The buffet doesn't open until five. At least the buffet had like, I think, sushi, fit, fish. It had all these different things in it. It didn't open until 5.30, excuse me. So it's 4.30, I'm freaking, like my stomach is growling. There's no gift shop that I could find. Finally, I, I told Danielle, I go, here are my choices. I can go get a cab and go somewhere, or I can eat at the bad place. And I'm like, I need to eat something. So I went and I got an Americano, no sugar, no nothing. And then I did get a huge, like it was literally this big, bran muffin. I figured, you know what? This is the only thing that's available to me right now. They did have like chicken wrap sandwiches, but I already had chicken and I'm like, it just didn't look good. So I got, what did I do? I got a big brand muffin. Oh, and then I came up to my room and I ordered a, um, I ordered a burger and then of course took the bun off, but I didn't have the whole thing. So it was good. Um, sometimes you can't have the ideal best choice. What are you gonna do? So that said, I've gotta go, Oh, that was bizarre. <gasps> I'm going to go do my call, get my workout in, um, and start the day. And I will be back talking to you guys tomorrow. But no excuses. It's on. <laughs>